Ask Reddit by Chloe is obsessed 23 what is something considered conventionally unattractive that you find hot as hell? This post has single-handedly increased my potentially short-term self-esteem, my self-confidence and has made me feel happier overall with how I look, who I am, my flaws and my shortcomings. I feel better in my skin. Thank you so much for your contributions everybody, your opinions and your tastes. When my GF dress is like a basement dweller on a Saturday. I love it. R agreed. It's one thing when you see someone all put together and feeling at their best. It's another when you're so comfortable together that the ratty PJs come out, lol. I'm a man who really likes women taller than me, don't think that's common. As a tall woman who doesn't care about height, I love this. Edit, I am 5 feet 9 inches. I used to think I want a guy my height or taller, until I fell for a shorter guy and now I don't care anymore haha. <laughs> there was this girl in high school that had fire burn scars all over her back and shoulder, but she would always either wear backless tops or her sweater off of her shoulder. The straight up confidence and aura she exuded was the sexiest thing ever. As someone with burn scarring. It's very nice to hear it's not an immediate turn off for everyone. This is a very wholesome comment section. Suddenly having a big nose, scars, mum belly and squishy thighs makes me feel like a goddess. I feel like I just got the biggest hug. I like being with someone who is just a little bit clingy not crazy, but someone who wants to text me frequently and needs me around a lot. I adore having a sense of desire. Thanks for posting it. I'm naturally a bit clingy. It's in my personality. I've worked for it not to be a problem, but I do have the tendency. It's nice to know some people appreciate it. I feel like a lot of guys scrolling here should know that rolling up your sleeves makes you instantly more attractive. Is it the act of rolling up the sleeves, or having your sleeves rolled up? Grabs pencil and paper. I remember fairly early on into dating my girlfriend I thought she was wearing some perfume and I asked her if she was cause I thought she smelled nice. She hadn't showered in two days. Her mom would also joke with me about how she dresses like a hobo. IDK if that counts but it's part of her charm. One of the secrets of sexual attraction compatibility is pheromones. When you like another person's natural smell, that's huge. Someone working on their hobby so hard they're all messed up. In my case it's art, I'm surrounded by artists covered in paint from head to toes, working on their next piece without giving a shit of how they look. There's just passion and madness. Same goes for programming, cooking. Additional points if they wear an apron. Scars. It's impossible to be boring if you have a scar, because every scar has a story. They also add a natural form of uniqueness to a person's appearance. Yeah. This scar? I got it by hitting myself in the face with the board when I was in the third grade. Hot, right? It's nice to know that no matter what you look like, somebody somewhere finds you attractive. Must be in a galaxy far far away cause they ain't near me. Crow's feet and women. They make me weak in the knees. Especially when they smile. I love crow's feet in both men and women. I'm starting to get them myself, I'm in my 30s, and I love it a sign of lots of smiling. Not to get too graphic but I've seen so many women who are self-conscious about this that I have to share. Not only do I find bigger real as nipples and long labias attractive, but I actually prefer them over small ones. I see so many women on Reddit asking if men like these things and saying that they're scared to be intimate with their new romances because of it. It always breaks my heart. When older women have graying hair. I think some carry the look very well. She's not fully grey, like Emmy Lou, but I saw Bonnie Raitt on Thursday, and some guy yelled out that he loved her hair. I've always loved her little grey streak. Not conventionally unattractive, 
just perhaps, nobody cares about it. A few years ago I visited the Louvre and in the Egyptian wing there was some skinny, bald and not really hot dude crouched on the floor, translating hieroglyphics through the display window onto a notebook. I thought that was super hot. You describe just right so that I care. Translate hieroglyphics like nobody's watching. It's the confidence, enthusiasm and intellectual curiosity. Love to see it. Shyness I guess. Everyone always says you need to be confident to be attractive but IDK never mattered to me if someone is socially inept I find them more genuine and relatable. Same. Honestly I think more people think like you but don't admit it. People who are social outcasts don't fit in. I've never understood the idea of social proof to begin with honestly. Receiving a lot of attention or having a lot of friends doesn't mean that you're a better person partner. All it means is that you either have good social skills or have something that people want. Or at least you act like you have something people want. Much younger me always wanting to be in the cool kids club. Older me is glad I wasn't. People who don't quite fit in and do their own thing stand out a lot to me. I'm drawn to them. The little pouch on a lady's lower tummy, especially in pencil skirts. You are a gift a damn gift and we thank you we thank you very very much. Fucked up teeth. Healthy but not straight. A gap. Snaggle tooth. Imperfect teeth. OMG yes. I love crooked teeth. Straight teeth are boring and honestly the whiter they are the more off-putting they are. It just seems so fake to me. Just like the scars in other comments crooked teeth are so unique to the person and might even have a story behind them. I look at my cousins who all had to grow up with braces and I feel so bad for them because braces are a pain the ass and a mo makes you look worse. I'm very glad my parents were too poor to afford them for me and my sister lol. Women with a raspy voice. Not like, chain smoker level of raspy, but if there's a slight raspiness to it, it's hot af. Edit, no, not vocal fry. There's a difference. Natasha Lan? Yeah know how some girls get all self-conscious that body hugging dresses or pencil skirts give them a little pot belly, well that shit is hot af. Oh man as a woman that has never been able to really shed that last little belly, I appreciate this. Live well, my friend. Live well. Looking unkempt and disheveled. Both on men and women. Like long, messy hair, tired eyes, sweet pants and sports bra, a one out coat, a scraggly beard and a cigarette like they went through some shit today. There is a fine line between looking like a gross slob and this. I guess, hobo chick or sleepy beauty look, though. Also I'm totally biased in that it's only when people I already find relatively attractive do it. But it's a look most people seem to disapprove of in general. Yes. I love people who look slightly deranged, like a mad scientist or something. Nerdy looking and acting men who don't think they are attractive. Deleted. Big noses or Roman noses on women. As a big nosed older woman with naturally grey hair this thread has vastly improved my Saturday. That low fat patch between boob and armpit. Edit. Got a lot of traction here. I really don't know how to handle it. Thanks so much for the insight and kind words. I knew this was a thing because my wife told me it's something girls hate. I was literally floored by this. Here we are. Celebrate it. That's so specific lol but good to hear. Apparently hip dips are now considered unattractive. But I love hip dips. I didn't even realize I had them until I saw people talk about them. I thought it was from from underwear cutting into my hips or mayo. Big noses on men. Yes. A dream brody type of nose. I turn into a Ferengi when it comes to ears. Check out the lobes on this one. Glasses. Doesn't matter what kind to me, they all look good with them. If she's also intelligent on top of that, that's the perfect combo. 
Yes. I love glasses on everyone. I know a lot of men who won't date a woman they are as more intelligent than themselves. I also know some women who pretend to be less than they are so they don't intimidate the guy. Screw that. Nothing like a smart capable woman who can engage in a deep conversation. Scruffy men. Unkempt hair. 5 o'clock shadows. Untucked shirts. Drool. Note. Unkempt and dirty are different and distinct things. Unkempt is hot. Unwashed is gross. The little wispy sideburns some South Asian girls get. When you can't see the ribs between above a fit older woman's boobs. Accents you don't expect. Like a typical white girl in America that has a German accent or a Vietnamese woman from Texas or a black woman from England. Big noses, particularly with a little bump on them. Acne scars. Uneven boobs. Man, women are neat. Man, women are neat just gave me such a boost. Thank you. Curly hair. No clue why people waste all the time and effort to straighten it. Haven't seen this posted yet. But veiny breasts. They look so naturally beautiful. I call them thunderstorm titties. As a super fair skinned person with visible veins under my breast tissue, this makes me feel so happy. I've been insecure about this since forever. It now that little pouch of fat on their belly, that little band of fat right above their hips, that little hump right above the butt. I fucking love that shit. IDK what that's called or if it's healthy or not but good god does that shit get me fucking going. Woof. We called those love handles back in the 90s. I hear a lot, from funny women, that men don't like funny women. And I find that unbelievable. It's so hot. Women that have a thick perf or a voice. Like a husky Shakira. I just love to listen to a permanent bedroom voice. Cozy and sexy. Edit, a letter. Dark circles and a women's eyes. Why? I've been told that I look tired as hell and should sleep more. When someone geeks out about something they are passionate about. Feeling comfortable expressing your interests is sexy, especially if it's obscure. Bedhead. Thick dudes. Give me a big bear of man with a paunch. Give me a dude with a dad bod. A father figure, if you will. I also like a really hairy chest. I too dig a hairy chest. Extremely dark skin. The Sudanese and Amp. Tamils are the most beautiful people in the world. Yes. Especially when they wear white. To die for. A woman who can eat. Women dressed in white after Labor Day. I also like bad girls. The pudge on a woman's tummy. That's the good shit right there. Freckles. First pick. Also, I think glasses are attractive. Not cosmetic glasses worn for a look, but those that scientists wear that make the eyes look magnified. I'm peculiar. Also ink. I know it's a personal thing and not meant for others, but tattoos with stories fascinate me. And strong hands on women. Hands that look like they've done stuff. No nail polish or rhinestones, no glitter, short nails. Maybe some dirt underneath from gardening or motor oil from pulling down an engine. As a fellow female mechanic who has grease and oil stained hands with tattoos 90% of the time I thank you. First time I've ever heard of someone finding that look attractive on a female before colon. Goofy girls, who can laugh at themselves. I've seen a lot of hate for gingers. I've always loved red haired guys. Same. I love pale freckly guys in general too. Steve Buscemi. I've been saying this. And he seems like such a sweetheart too. For me personally it's vitiligo. Something about it is just really pretty to me. 
When I was a little kid I saw a lady who had it at the grocery store for the first time and, probably louder than I'd intended, asked about it. My mom was mortified when the woman turned around to explain but I just looked at her and said it was really really pretty. She was seemed really surprised, but I meant it. It's unique and very pretty, 